Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss about applications of computers in design. When you apply the computers in the design process, so what are the advantages we will get in the design process that we can see. So first one is geometric modeling. Then comes the engineering analysis, design review and evaluation, and automated drafting. These are the four main applications you can notice when you apply the computers in the design process. First, we will see what is geometric or modeling. So, in the design process, the first part is synthesis. Synthesis means the preliminary ideas we will prepare, various rough ideas we will prepare depending on the conceptualization. So, while preparing these rough ideas, we use it to prepare the phototypes, physical prototypes earlier, around 20 years, 15 years back, we used to prepare the physical prototypes. Physical prototype means it is the scaled down model of the actual object. So that used to be take long time and cost effective also while you are preparing the physical model. Instead of preparing the physical model, while you apply the computers in the design place, using this geometric modeling techniques, you can prepare the virtual prototype. So geometry is nothing but mathematical representation of the object. For example, you want to draw a line inside the computer then how the computer draws the line or generates the line is a program will be invoked behind the screen in that program for drawing the line the line equation will be there and we will send the data to that equation for example you want to generate a line means you need to send two coordinate values that is related to starting point and end point this coordinate data will feed to the computer and automatically one program will be invoked in that equation will be there that equation is nothing but mathematical description so using that equation and this data a line will be produced on the computer screen similarly for circle ellipse whatever may be the object or entity for each entity a program will be there in that mathematical description will be there that means mathematical equation will be there circle equation will be there ellipse equation will be there parabola equation will be there so by keeping all these equations we will write programs and using those programs only we will generate the objects or entities on the screen by using those entities we will generate the model that is the process of generating the geometric model so that's why so geometry is nothing but mathematical description of the object we can define in that way then different types of modeling techniques we can notice the simple and easy modeling technique is wireframe model so wireframe model is obtained by interconnecting the lines or circles or arcs etc it is the very easy technique and it takes less memory and less time to generate the model okay but complete three dimensional representation we can't generate using the wireframe model some limitation will be there then if you go beyond 2d then comes the two and of the capability so generally people are aware of 2d and 3d only but what is 2 and of d is 2 and of d means it is the capability just beyond 2d and not complete 3d so that means if you notice a object without any sidewall effect that object you can call as a 2 and of the object for example if you take a circle if you project the circle to some distance you will get a cylinder like this if you take a square, if you project it to some distance, you will get a prism like this. So this sort of objects we will call as two and of the objects. In two and of the objects, there will not be any sidewall effect. So what is this sidewall effect? To understand sidewall effect, just observe this diagram. So here, this component is having a sidewall effect here. A side projection is there. Whenever you are noticing a projection, then that is called a sidewall effect. When sidewall effect is there, then we can call that as complete 3D object. So that is the difference between 2 and of D and 3D objects. In 3D modeling, we used to have sweeping operations. The objects generated by sweeping operations are generally called as 2 and of D objects. Okay, what are the sweeping operations and all that we will see in the coming topics. Then comes the solid modeling. So solid modeling means by using a set of primitives like this block, cylinder, wedge, torus, cone, etc., we will take a set of predefined three dimensional primitives. By keeping all these primitives one adjacent to the other, 
you can create any complex shape that process we will call as a solid modeling here the advantage of solid modeling is any complex shape you can obtain and you can get the volume for it when you are generating the volume automatically that model is applicable for fine element analysis as well as for manufacturing modules okay so that when when we are having the module volume complete volume so what are the benefits we are going to get that also we will see in the coming topics another advantage you will get when you apply the computers in the design process is engineering analysis so in the analysis stage generally what we will do is if you are going for a physical prototype on the physical prototype we will apply the loads and physically we will test whether the object is sustaining for that load or not for example previously when a car is completely manufactured people used to send the car for crash test so when car is sent for the crash test that particular car is completely damaged and it will not be used further so that means there is a waste of material and money in that sort of testing process so in that testing process they used to identify that where exactly extra load is experienced where failure is taking place all those things people used to test that is the destructive type of testing if you go for engineering analysis here what we can do is instead of destroying the component in the computer itself you can apply the load on the virtual model and you can get the result and you can notice that result whether it is in the desired range or not for example i want to find the factor of safety so how you can determine the factor of safety factor of safety is nothing but ultimate stress by working stress for brittle materials or yield stress by working stress for ductile materials okay so here you can find out the working stress inside the computer system itself on the any mechanical engineering component when the ultimate stress of that particular material is known to you then automatically you can calculate the factor of safety and this factor of safety is not within the desired range then you can go for modifying the dimensions of the geometric model and again you can do the engineering analysis so in that way we can easily do the stress strain calculations inside the computer itself so that is the advantage and here so waste of material is not there and waste of money is also not there any number of times you can do the iterations and you can check the result so that is the main advantage next heat transfer calculations also you can compute inside the computer itself computing the natural frequencies so that also you can do very easily so what is the advantage of natural frequencies whenever you are making any mechanical engineering component along with the design you have to specify the natural frequency of that particular component also because if the component natural frequency is matching with the surrounding system frequency resonance will occur and that will lead to the damage of the component without any taking external load so that means suppose you are designing a icing in connecting rod you kept that in the car okay so next day you are starting the engine you are not at all driving the car you are just starting the engine and immediately without driving the connecting rod is failed that means what was happened there is the natural frequency of the connecting rod is matching with the engine frequency resonance is occurred and component is failed to avoid this what you have to do is you have to clearly give the natural frequency of the connecting rod and we have to check the frequency of the engine when the engine is running at a particular rpm these two are matching or not that we have to check then only safely you can operate the engine so that sort of studies also you can easily carry it out using engineering analysis stage here then kinematic analysis also we can perform that means when you give the displacement what is the velocity when the object is moving with this velocity what is the acceleration all these calculations we can do easily mass properties so finding the mass properties is very very important in mechanical engineering design process so here for complex shapes finding the center of gravity moment of inertia is very very time taking if you go for manual calculation if you adapt the computer systems by clicking a button automatically you can get the center of gravity moment of inertia etc 
This facility is available in AutoCAD, SolidWorks in almost all the softwares. So in AutoCAD, this, these mass properties are called as enquiry commands. In SolidWorks, available in Evaluate tab. Something in this way, different names will be given in different softwares, but finally we can calculate the surface area, weight, volume, center of gravity, moment of inertia, etc. in almost all the softwares. FM capabilities. So here, if you go for uh, softwares like ANSYS, Nastron, NISA, etc., doing the discretization part is very very easy. That means splitting the complex problem into simple small problems is very very easy by using the automated meshing capability in in these softwares. In the evaluation stage, we can use some techniques like layering. Layering technique means by keeping the exact drawing and finished product both are in different layers we can check whether the finished product is matching with the original drawing or not here layer definition is something like this layer means it is the imaginary transparent sheet placed over the original object for example you are using a book like this suppose you just notice this book so here instead of writing something on this if i place a transparent sheet here over the transparent sheet if i write something if i don't require that information i can remove the transparent transparent sheet whenever i want i can place the transparent sheet okay something in that way whatever transparent sheet we are keeping here that is the original layer but inside the computer whatever transparent sheet you are keeping there that is called a virtual layer okay so actually it's not available we are imagining that a layer is there so you can create any number of layers in the softwares like autocad or solidworks you know all these softwares and you can keep different objects in different layers interference checking we can do very easily during the assemblies so what is the definition of interference means when two different components during the assembly are occupying the same space that is called as interference so when two parts are properly not inset one into the other any overlap is there that can be identified easily during the assembly process so that we can avoid failure of assemblies during the actual assembly process after the finishing products are arrived into the assembly department so that we can avoid in the design stage itself that is called as interference checking then simulation of mechanisms through animations once the entire mechanism is designed how it is functioning that functioning we can check using the animation so automated drafting means you prepare the model and you give that model to the computer system the software will create the design for you the orthograph views the front view top view isometric view sectional view everything will be created automatically so that is called as automated drafting okay so this is achieved by creating the database of the model database of the model is nothing but when you are preparing any model inside the computer the entire information will be saved in a database for example you are drawing a line automatically line starting point and ending point that information will be saved in one database if you are drawing a circle the circle center point and radius will be saved at one place that is nothing but database okay something in that way you are preparing the entire drawing means that entire information will be saved in the form of a table only inside the database when you are recalling or opening the drawing the data will be collected from the database and the program will be invoked and it will generate the object by calling the data from the database that is the actual process okay so using the data it can automatically create the drafting drafting part that means all the graph projections can be generated automatically dimensioning can be done automatically so that is another advantage no need to bother about what is the size of arrow head what is the size of uh, extension line beyond the dimension line so how to place the extension lines so all these headaches are not there what is the text size depending on the paper size automatically it will fix the text size of the drawing so you don't have to bother about all those things will be done automatically by the software itself so hatching so doing hatching is very difficult in manual drawing because 
I think is nothing but 45 degrees inclined lines with uniform gap. So here uniform space maintaining the uniform space while drawing the inclined lines manually is somewhat typical and difficult for user and it depends on the skill of the drawing person. So that's why here you can avoid that part because automatically you can generate the hatchings when section is cut. So automatically sectional views can be generated. So detailing can be done. A small part you want to draw in detail at a different place. That is called a detailing. So the detailing part can be done easily. So isometric projections, perspective projections, oblique projections. So all these you can generate at a click of a button. So that is the another advantage of automated drafting. Okay. So these are the four main advantages you will get when you apply the computers in the design process that is nothing but applications of computers in the design first one is geometry modeling second one is engineering analysis third one is design review and evaluation fourth one is automated drafting thanks for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel